Zoro Baggins has um, sent me a video. My very first video request. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be that. <laughs> oh. The stupid is strong in this one. Hey, you're over there. Who, uh, me? Hey, yeah, do you believe that men and women are equal? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course I do. I mean, I, I mean, who, who, who wouldn't? Well, you're a feminist. That's great. Ah, oh, this fucking argument yet again. Oh. You know, I, Hobbes Justice tells me that feminism doesn't own a monopoly on equality. Yeah, 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 this is total freaking bullshit. Feminism shouldn't own a monopoly on equality. Seriously, how many times have you heard this argument? Hey, you, yes, you, guess what? If you believe in equality, then guess what? You're a feminist. And if if you are not a feminist, how then how can you be in support of equality? If you oppose feminism, then how can you be in support of equality? This is the sort of argument that makes me sick to my so, uh, no, I'm not a feminist, but y you just said that men and women are equal. That's, that's feminism. No, that's not feminism because, uh, I believe that, like, men have problems too. Like, 75% of people who commit suicide are men, and I think that's a really big problem, and that's why I think feminism, uh, is wrong. You know, every second that I stare at this video, I feel like I'm losing more brain cells at the second. In fact, I think I'm losing brain cells faster than War Corps can lose many brain cells just by drinking beer. In fact, I'm noticing a, some sort of special trend with the new uh, feminist movement. You know, hipster glasses, hipster clothing, retarded look. Hmm, where have I seen this before? I'm Kyle, and this is Your Fave is Problematic, where I really question why some things would be your fave. Today we'll be looking at the terrifying new trend known as the Men's Rights Movement. Mennonism. <sighs> the facts are these. Menonism, or the Men's Rights Movement, as it is known by human man babies all over the internet, is a pseudo-activist movement promoting what it claims to be equal rights for men, though in reality it is a thinly veiled counter-movement against feminism. Uh... Oh shit. No, no, see that's that's feminism, believing that men and women are equal. See, feminism can help that by helping men be more emotionally open and honest about how they feel. Yes, because there's plenty of feminist programs out there that apparently helps men not commit suicide. Plenty. Go on, name one. Just name Because that's seen as a feminine trait, whereas feminism wants to help men be more open and honest about their feelings so that there can be less suicides. Oh, okay, I see. So, I'm a feminist. Great, you're done with the stupid straw manning. Can we get to the point now? So feminism is just the belief that men and women are equal. Everybody knows it. It's not that simple. It's not just a simple belief in equality. One should be treated equally. Excuse me, but I, uh, I respect my boyfriend. Oh great, more straw manning. And like, I think he's like just as important as me. So I think feminism's bad because of that. Cause my boyfriend's just as important as I am. So, so what you're saying is that men and women are equal, yeah? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying, which is why I'm not a feminist because I love my boyfriend. But that, that's, that's feminism. You, you think that you and your boyfriend are equal. That, that is what feminism is. Oh. Oh, okay then. I've gone southern all of a sudden. So you basically repeated the same point twice in a row. Oh.
Great, thank you, um, sexist betrayal of a woman. Okay, are you done with the straw, Manny? Are you going to actually make your points instead of repeating yourself like a fucking parrot? In a video about feminism. Um, excuse me, but, um, I'm a woman, and I feel that women don't really have it that bad. Oh, for fuck's sakes! I mean, I can walk down the street, and my American accent is really falling apart here. I believe that I can walk down the street. I don't know what accent I'm doing. But You're trying way too hard! Stop! You're actually trying to make my fucking ears bleed! But, like, I walk down the street, and... I'm not getting harassed, I'm getting paid the same as my now counterpart parts at work. So I don't think feminism's a thing. Like, I've never come across it, so I don't think it's that important an issue. Just like on how you never face Miss Sandry in the feminist community, but that doesn't mean that Miss Sandry doesn't exist. Women and men are equal. Just because you haven't experienced sexism of any sort. You think that sexism isn't a thing and therefore we don't need feminism. Yeah, I guess so. I guess I guess that's what I'm saying. We we don't need feminism because it's fucking redundant. It, feminists already have achieved their fucking goals, but it's just never enough. I think I'm the same woman as before. My accent's changed a lot. Hold on, hold on. Well, I'm hung up, this is not a thing anymore. It's great. Wait, so, no, but like... You're just making the same fucking point yet again. Oh. 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 I've got food, so therefore, well, hunger isn't a thing. So what you're saying is that just because you're not hungry, that, well, hunger doesn't exist. But uh, I've got food, so I don't think that, uh, well, hunger is really a problem anymore. What, what about Africa? Where now? And the ironic thing is that feminists barely care about third world problems. Ho ho ho. No, no, no. We got our focus here in the first world, you know. You know, banning the word bossy is very, very, very important. I mean, just about anything a man does is considered sexist. Why, spreading your legs in a subway station? Yeah, that's sexist right there. Um, because apparently you're taking up space. Yeah, that, that, that's the issue. But, you know, they, they don't want to go after fat people. Or women that spread their legs. Yeah, that, that, that no, no, it, it, it's men who spread their legs that needs to stop spreading their legs because that's very important uh let's see what else uh standing in line in the bathroom is considered sexist now for some odd reason um hell just farting in the fucking elevator is considered sexist and let's not forget asking a woman in an elevator for a cup of coffee guess what you're a sexist. There's millions of people starving in Africa. But uh, I haven't experienced it. So if I'm going to be hungry, I'm sorry. No one's been hungry. It's not a problem. You know, I hate to say this. It really pains me to say this, but I think that Jenny McDermott has actually have more legit points in her arguments, which is probably very little towards this guy. Compared to this guy, she actually has a few legit points. I don't know how that's possible, but he actually- Like, just, just because you haven't experienced it doesn't mean it's not happening. Mm. Yeah, that's the best thing for a diabetic to do in a video. He biscuits. So do you see how that argument works? Just because you haven't personally experienced sexism doesn't mean that it's not a thing. Yeah, well, I think that uh, women should just shut up and make me a sandwich. <laughs> I'm all right, guys. Yeah, you're not a feminist. Holy fuck is this wrong? Yes, yeah, so I made that video because I've had a lot of people that have said that they're not feminist. People opposing feminism. How could this be? Feminism just means it's for equality. It's just for equality. <laughs> Okay, let me tell you something, right now. 
So listen carefully. You do not try to make straw man arguments in order to make feminism look good. You have to try to understand why people oppose feminism. So that way, you don't sound like a total dipshit. When really they are, they just don't agree with the word. Oh yeah, because that's the only reason why people oppose feminism. It's not because the, the groups of feminists out there that are completely dishonest, there, there are uh, these feminists try to pretty much own a monopoly on equality, try to tell men on how to live their fucking lives. No, no, it has nothing to do with that. None. It just has to do with the fact that the word feminism is offensive to us. That's a I mean, what the fuck do you think that uh, that we think, huh? That we just go, ew, feminism. That word sounds like it gives you cootie. Because a lot of people will say that there's a lot of um, feminazis. Which is pretty much the appropriate term for the majority of modern day feminists. Which is bleh, just a horrible word to say. But I think that's just a mi misrepresentation of what feminism is. Yeah, in any group of beliefs, there's always going to be extremists that take it in the wrong direction. Um, well, hate to say this, but just because there are extremists in a group doesn't mean that the group itself is good. Okay, feminism, modern day feminists have pretty much just made feminism itself as a fucking joke. There are very few Good, legit feminist in this, it, within the feminist community. And here's a shocker. Those feminists, those who do not follow the traditional third wave feminist ideologies, guess what? Those third wave feminists will chew those other feminists out and call them not true feminists. I am dead fucking serious. If you do not follow traditional third wave feminist ideologies, then guess what? You cannot be a feminism to most people is simply that men and women are equal. So if you agree with that, then even if you don't like using the word, and I can understand why you don't like using the word. No, you don't understand why people don't like using the freaking word. Do I have to spell it out with you? Just let me spell it out, okay? The reason why people do not want to call themselves feminists is because the feminist movement is tainted by many, many modern day feminists and is completely bullshit. They do not want to associate themselves with a feminist in the same way that you do not want to associate yourself with a Nazi. Because some people don't represent feminism in a way that is what it really stands for. Then by all means don't use the word, but at the end of the day, you're still a feminist. No, you are not. And feminism isn't ignoring the issues that also face men as well. It's trying to solve that. You can't have equality unless both sexes are equal. Oh, the irony. So, bye guys. Um, hope you enjoyed that. I was kind of having a little mini breakdown while I did it. I didn't enjoy it at all. I might as well be staring at a fucking brick wall. A brick wall is more entertaining than this shit. And my camera only has 10 minutes of memory until so I'm trying to do it really quick. Bye. I can't wait for your video response towards Teal Deer. If you want to see Tito Diaz's video, links in the description. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace!